Started Tutorial for Angular. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a trial access token that can be used in an Angular application with the Document Viewer. Go to our website and select Trial Access Token from the Products menu. You must create a text control account or use an existing account to log in. Once you are logged in, the trial access token will be available. Select the token and copy it to the clipboard. Now let's create a new application. Node and Angular need to be installed. Create a new application by typing ng new, followed by a project name. Select CSS as your preferred style sheet format and select Node to disable SSR and SSG. Once the project is built, go to the project folder and install the viewer by calling npm with the parameter i for install, followed by the viewer package name. The name is at txtextcontrol txt-ng-document-viewer. Use the legacy peer dependencies parameter because the txtextcontrol is not bound to a specific version of Angular. When the package is added, type code dot to open Visual Studio Code with the project open. Locate and open the app.component.ts file in the source app folder. Import the document viewer module by typing import document viewer module from the imported package name tx text control slash tx dash ng dash document dash viewer. The installed modules are also listed by Visual Studio Code. Simply find the module in the given list and select it for adding. Finally, you need to add the module to the component in the imports parameter. Now go to the app.component.html file, open it, and remove the existing code. Add the viewer component by typing tx-document-viewer in angle brackets. Add the base path parameter and set the value to our trial backend URL, which you can find in the trial access token page that we opened earlier. This backend is hosted by us and can be used for evaluation purposes. Later, you can host your own on-premises or in your cloud. Paste your personal trial access token after the equal sign. Now we load a document by passing a base64 encoded string to the document data parameter. Finally, we set the doc parameter to window so that the viewer will use all the available space in the browser window. Back at the command prompt, type ng serve dash dash open. This will compile the application and open the default browser. You can see the document viewer with a document loaded. You can select text, zoom, find text, or add annotations and comments. This tutorial with step-by-step -step description and source code can be found on our website www.textcontrol.com, which has an extensive Getting Started tutorial section. Simply select your technology and the component you want to filter. Tons of articles, tutorials, and examples are available. Thanks for watching and happy coding!